Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tevron, and today we're going to be starting a playthrough of Fallout New Vegas. I've started this game several times in the past and never really got very far in it, but with uh, Fallout 4 being announced and coming soon, I thought what better time than now to actually try to make it a complete playthrough. We'll be starting a new game, and I will be skipping the opening cutscene and trying to minimize our exposure to the music in the game. Uh, simply to try to minimize the chances that the content will be uh, ID matched by YouTube. Yes, we'll start a new game. And yes, that's fine. What happens in the opening cutscene is that our character gets shot in the head and left for dead inside an open grave. And all these things that are getting added to the inventory are from the Ultimate Edition, which is what I own. You're awake. So it includes all the that? DLC. Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Yeah, it looks like you gave Why me some good drugs back? too, Doc. Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Uh, maybe. Uh, let's name our guy Liam Pickens. Okay. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. You got a problem with my name? Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Your name's not so now, great either. I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. You sure you got them all? I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How am I supposed to do that? How'd I do? Whoa. Um, yeah. Let's, uh... Let's change our appearance a little bit. We'll go Caucasian. Take a look at some of these presets. Oh, I like that guy. Uh, let's make him a little bit older. We'll customize a little bit. Blue eyes is fine. Where can I do hair color? Oh, there we go. Hair color. I think we want to be a redhead. Yeah. There we go. Man, we are sexy. Yes, this is my character. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay, no sense keeping you in bed anymore. I don't know what you're talking about, Doc. I didn't look Let's anything like what you had me. You on your feet. What did you give me? Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Uh, and in these type of games, I think the thing to do is probably just rob everybody blind. Which, if it isn't red, it isn't stealing, so there's no danger of us getting in trouble. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Ooh, looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you got back all your faculties. Oh, well, let's see. Okay. Let's go to the very end. It's easier to adjust stats from there, if I remember correctly. And I'm going to try to make a bit of a charismatic person. So we've got five points to distribute, and we can actually lower our starting stats too. Uh, lower strength a little bit. Lower endurance a little bit. Luck's important for everything. Intelligence is really important because it gives you skill points as you go. So I'm going to max that out and then up my charisma as well. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. 
Look at that. Maybe them bullets done your brain some good. Well, maybe they did. Well, we know your vitals are good. Yep. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered and a bighorn are dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. You think you're Sigmund Freud or something, Doc? All right. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Hot. Hot dog. Okay, that's not there. Uh, dinner. That's the closest to hot dog. Dinner. House. Um. Home. Home's not a. Not an option. Um. Renovate. Night. Day. Is day an option? Day's not an option. You're not very intuitive, are you, Doc? Uh, dream. That's fine. Bandit. Uh, yeah, crush. Light. Dark. Yeah, finally. Mother. Father. Father's not there. Regret. <laughs> the, that's, that's sad. Tattle tantrum? Caretaker. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. Shoot. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Mm, I'd agree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Uh, I'd agree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Uh, uh, I don't... No opinion. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. No, I like things. I like new things. Uh, I will... I don't know if I strongly disagree. I'll disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Sometimes I generally like to think about things a little bit, so I'll disagree with that as well. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Um... The... Pincers on an ant. Those little pincers on an ant. A broken chain, a chemical reaction, a shadow in a door frame, an oozing wound, an angry... Ah, that's close. An angry two-headed ant. Okay. Well, that's How a pair of guns. One? It's two guns, end to end. Uh, that's none of these. Uh, Space Age technology. Last one. That's two guys with their hands out giving each other other high five. Uh, that's not a choice, is it? Uh, it's a bearded man. Well, that's all she wrote. <clears throat> I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Okay, so that was just kind of a character creation thing if you didn't want to do it yourself. I do want science. I want... Science. Um, don't want energy weapon. I want guns. Science guns. Uh, repair. My repair skills pretty good right now. I do want lock pick. I want speech as well. Maybe I can raise my lock pick up at my first level up. I want my barter to be higher as well. Also. But, I mean, we can't have everything, so we'll go ahead and say done. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. You never know, Doc. Okay, so perks. Well, they call them traits here. I think in previous games they might have been called perks. Uh, built to destroy the flamer that burns twice as bright burns half as long. All weapons have plus 3% chance to critically hit, but equipment condition decays 15% faster. Okay. 
Fear of enclosed spaces. Get a plus one to special attributes when outside. Minus one when indoors. No. I want this to be... I like conversation options. So I want... I don't know that I have any conversation choices starting off. Wild Wasteland unleashes the most bizarre... What was that? Learn silly elements of post-apocalyptic America. Not for the faint of heart of the series of temperament. That sounds okay. We'll pick that for now. You're skilled, not experienced. You gain plus five points to every skill, but a minus 10% from experience gained from now on. That might be okay. Logan's loophole. Oh, never become, and we can only hit level 30. I think you can go higher than 30 in this game, so that's not great. Four eyes, plus perception, fast shot, fire more quickly but less accurately, better in the morning, 25 pounds to carrying capacity is pretty good. But get minuses to our attributes if we go over a certain weight. Uh, kamikaze. No. Loose cannon. I don't know. Plus one agility, but my limbs, I don't like that. Slower firing, but more accurate. That might be okay. I'm, yeah, I'm going to take that. Take that for now. All right. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Hey, did you take my clothes, Doc? You gonna give me my clothes back? What kind of a... What kind of a shady outfit are you running here, taking a man's clothes? If you took my clothes, I'm just going to take everything you own. Let's see if there's anything worth taking around here. <clears throat> um, already looked in there. Oh, yeah, we can do this stuff over here now. Let's try that. Uh, I think we can repair this. Yes, repair it. Now we got a 9mm submachine gun. Let me do this. I have a 25 science, so we'll create some stim packs. No, stim packs are healing items. What about over here? Pork and beans. Pork and beans is okay. Food items heal you in this game. Knife, okay. What's in here? Oh, yeah. Rounds. Carton of cigarettes is good money. I don't want to take the baseball. What do we got? Buffalo gourd seed. Let's see here. More ammunition. Take it all. Uh, oh yeah. Bobby pins. Those are lock pick items. I don't know that we want dirty water. Empty syringe. Steady. Weapon spread reduce. I don't remember anything about that. I wonder if that's a, a modification or a um, a drug of some sort. Cram. It's a play on spam, I believe. Bobby pin, dirty water. We'll take the bobby pin and the empty syringes. It's got to be a modification. This house is bigger than I remember it being. So, so I can take all your stuff, but I can't sleep in your sleep in your bed. You got weird priorities, Doc. Plus one agility. Value three. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. I don't think I want that. So cleaner. I think that's a crafting item you can make things with. 
I don't know that I'll be too into crafting. From what I remember, it's a it's a bit of a pain. Cutting board or these cabinets? No, can't open those. Toaster? I don't want a toaster. Flour. Yeah, what's in here? Pilot light, is that worth anything? Eh, no. Too awfully much. Junk food. Yeah, we'll take the alcohol for sure. Cleaner, detergent, cleaner, yeast. Can you bake in this game? Can I be like Guy Fieri? He's yeah, a spicy these meatball. Are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Okay. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack of modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Uh, you shouldn't have gone through my stuff. Nah, he was nice to us, so we'll thank him. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. Sunny smiles. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. I'll do my best. No promises, though. Turn. I don't want to play hardcore. Let's put on our stuff. I think he gave us a, a something item of clothing, a vault suit maybe. Not that uh, items. Apparel. Oh, yeah, I, I know what apparel is. Thank you. Lightweight leather armor. I bet that came from the DLC. Vault 21. Oh, it's already equipped. Plus two melee, plus two speech. No damage reduction. Huh. Well, this is our best armor. It gives us a minus two agility. This gives us plus two speech. So I'm going to wear that for now. Till it, at least until it looks like we might be involved in some fighting. What kind of weapons do we have? I know we have the submachine gun. <coughs> Sturdy caravan shot. Whoa! Yeah, I think I want to equip the caravan shotgun. That seems good. Oops. Continue. Always want to hit that escape to get out of the pit, boy. Lens flare. Yes, this is all I'm going to pop up all these DLC things here. <clears throat> There's a robot. Oh. Gunrunners, oh, that's another DLC. Hello, robot. What's your name? Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? You might. Oh, this is Victor. Uh, yeah, thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Um... How did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, who were the guys that attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Okay, uh, how'd you end up here? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I, um, 
I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. I think you might have got shot in the head too, Victor, if you're having memory problems. Yeah, I've never seen anything like I'm you before. Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Victor says howdy. I'll remember that. Well, goodbye, Victor. Happy trails. Happy trails to you. All right. So we got a quest marker down there. I think that's to find Sunny Smiles. Oh, another radio broadcast. Yeah, more DLC triggers. Well, we'll go over here. One thing I really, really wish this game had was a, some kind of a sprint option because the walking speed's a little bit slow. At least it does have fast travel. Hello, Easy Pete. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? You could try to find your emotions. Not talk in such a monotone voice. Why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Okay. Um, you hear anything about those people who shot me in the head? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though, if you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. I don't think you gotta warn me about that. They did shoot me in the friggin' head. So you're a prospector. You, like, dug up gold and silver and... Nah, nah. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Yeah, especially the chems, eh? Burned out all your emotions, didn't they, Easy Pete? Anything, ever find anything good? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Uh, you anything about Victor? The machine? Harmless, no matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Okay, yeah, what's wrong with the NCR anyway? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Gotcha. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. And who's the Legion? They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam. But the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Gotcha. I'm not going to ask so what's so important about Hoover Dam. I think that's pretty obvious considering we're out in the desert i think it provides some electricity too and i'm pretty sure the name's pronounced kaisar even though nowadays we say caesar Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here like the schoolhouse critters move in there sometimes thanks for the warning yeah back in uh in historical times uh kaisar or caesar is the word that the titles Kaisar and Tsar came from, so I believe Kaisar is actually the original pronunciation. Oh. Cheyenne, stay. 
Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. What about you? Do you bite? Oh, this must be Sunny. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me yeah, to survive. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. 10-4. That dog just vanished. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware the flashing arrow on the compass shows me where my quest objective is. People in this town don't use doors. They just kind of phase right through, it appears. Whoa, and teleported way over there. You haven't been gone out of there that long. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? I guess. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. What, this? Fireman. Oh, okay. Oh, I've got it. Is this a shotgun? Is this my shotgun? Aim down sights. Mouse two. Yep. Oh, I missed. There That's we go. Idea. Look down the sight. There we Try go. Try crouching down and staying still. All right. It'll help your aim. Let's crouch control. Yeah. Nice shot. Yeah, I'm well, a, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to cock. learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay, I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. And that, friends, is where we'll leave it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me in this playthrough. If you like the video, please consider leaving a like below. And you're always welcome to subscribe. Join us next time when me and Sunny go out and shoot us up some geckos.